Hello and welcome to Let's Play Black Dawn on the Sony PlayStation. Um, I'm playing this with my real PlayStation and my capture device because I couldn't get Black Dawn to work with the emulator properly. Um, after a certain point uh, the game wouldn't load so I'm playing this on my real PlayStation. Um, this is a helicopter um, battle war sort of game. Um, we fly a helicopter around um, shooting things and rescuing hostages, that sort of thing. Um, it's one of my favourite games. Um, it was also released on the Sega Saturn. Um, I've completed and played both um, the PlayStation and the Saturn versions. And as far as I'm aware, they're virtually identical. Um, this is the first introduction sequence. This is for Virgin Interactive. Um, I'm sure this is Richard Branson's favourite game. Um, after a couple more introduction sequences were taken to the main menu. This is for Black Ops Entertainment. Uh, uh, the next sequence um, shows you the premise of the game. Uh, the graphics aren't nearly as good, but um, they never are in these uh, in these ge in these early PlayStation games. The uh, um, the FMV sequences are always better graphics for some reason. Um, I did want to say in in one of my Ken Sidon videos, I did get a comment from YouTube user Stuart Howe. I think I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, he told me that the uh, that the way to defeat the uh, second boss more easily is to hit his legs when they're both together. I think, and that's how you uh, that's how you hit that boss all the time. Because I was sort of. Um, I was having difficulty with it uh, at the second boss on Ken Sidon. Um, I didn't know how to hurt him all the time, and apparently I was told in that comment um, that you have to hit him when his legs are together. Um, so thanks for that. Um, I'm really grateful. Um, he also told me the the real name of the character because I didn't. Um, I did say I didn't know his name. So thank you very much um, for that comment. Anyway, um, yeah, here are the options. Um, there are two ways to save the game. Um, you can either use a password, which you can enter here, or you can use the PlayStation's own memory card, which is what I'll probably be using. Um, you can put the sound effects, um, put the volume up and down for that. You can put the CD music up and down. Um, difficulty, we get uh, easy, which they've called sissy, uh, normal or hard which they've called rockin um, I'm going to be doing normal mode and that's because I've never I've never actually completed it on um, I've never actually completed the game on hard mode because it is extremely difficult and even if I even if I could complete it it wouldn't give me enough time to talk about the game properly so I'm going to be doing it on normal mode um, high scores that's self-explanatory uh, controller setup let's have a look at that I might have a go on hard mode after I completed on normal mode, I don't know, I might have a go and then um, do some videos of that, I don't know. Uh, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Anyway, uh, there are four controller setups, there's Arcade, there's Agile, there's Racer, there's uh, Gunner. Uh, they're all slightly different, the manual states that they're for different types of players, like the Racer is the one is uh, for the type of player that likes to use speed and maneuverability and the gunner is for one that just like to shoot everything. I like to use the, uh, the default which is arcade because it's the one to which I'm most accustomed so I'll be doing that and I think that explains everything. You can have a look at the credits as well if you want which I won't do. Okay so let's, let's go back. Okay let's start the game. Scramble. Okay the first mission we're doing is Operation Urban, Operation Urban Shield. Let's do that now. I think there is a briefing uh, to sit through. Um, it also details the controls again. Um, I have them memorised, don't worry. Two hours ago, Hezbollah terrorists disguised as military personnel infiltrated Fort Dix and stole missile launchers, howitzers and APCs. Using hostages as human shields, they were able to deploy the stolen armor in Central Park. Your first objective is to rescue the hostages and return them to the landing zone. Okay, that's that. 
and here we go. Okay, so controls, uh, X is speed up, circle is reverse or slow down, press the, the, the select button plus, um, plus X to change view, like that. I always have it like this. If you have it in the cockpit view, you can do, uh, uh, you can press select and R2, yeah, select R2 or L2 to look out the side. You can only do that in the cockpit view, but I don't use that. A triangle is use your, use your current weapon that's up at the top there, which is the missile. Uh, 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 the select button, pl um, the select button plus triangle has changed that weapon. To do that. Uh, square button is use your machine gun. Um, you can strafe by pressing L1 and R1. And um, you can move, you can move up and down by pressing L2 uh, and uh, down. That puts you up. Pressing L2 plus up puts you down. Um, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, yeah, that's everything. Okay. Okay, you can move forward like that. If you press the pause button and uh, you can have a look at some more options. Uh, fly mode is if you're pointing slightly downwards at a downwards angle or an upwards angle, you can fly and it will move you up a bit. So it will move you up in altitude. Otherwise, it doesn't do that. So I like to have that off. Auto land is if you're hovering, i.e. not moving, it will land you automatically if there are hostages nearby to pick up. And that's it. Okay, so let's go and uh, rescue those hostages. I always forget the analog stick doesn't work with this because it's an early PlayStation game. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I got hit by a tree there, believe it or not. Okay, there's a... Yeah, if you have a lock, you can shoot the things that have a lock o over them. I think you press the R2 button to change uh, targets. It'll usually leave an item behind, go and pick it up, otherwise it will uh, f flash and disappear. But yeah, there's armour and fuel gauges at the top there, that will uh, that will go down. I th on, harder mo on hard mode, the, the armour and the fuel will go down more quickly. If either of them go to naught, um, you will die and lose a life, I think. Or you have to start the mission again, something like that. I don't think you get lives in this. Uh, ignore, the, ignore the hostages for now. Just um, go after killing these enemies because they're annoying. They'll attack you while you're trying to rescue the hostages. That's the better machine gun. We can now shoot two things at once. There is one better machine gun that we don't get yet, un uh, unfortunately. That's uh, that's a thing of fuel. We'll pick that up. So let's put our fuel gauge up at the top. Um, uh, the uh, uh, to pick up more shield. Uh, they look like a um, they look like a real shield. So go and pick them up if you see them. This, uh, that's napalm. We'll use that later. Not now. If, if you go off course, that happens. He just says off course. You, you can't go out of bounds in this. Um, yeah, the blue power-ups are worth the least. Then there's red, and then there's gold. The gold ones are the best. Um, um, so a blue f fuel pickup will give you the, the the lowest amount of fuel, and the uh, the gold ones will give you the most, and the red will give you medium. Um, yeah, you have this sort of uh, co-pilot who's always sort of giving you advice, and, and he says sort of like encouraging things like payback time and things like that, which is, you know... And, and uh, if you're low on health, he says we're getting hammered, or let's get the hell out of here, something like that. So um, it's, it's a pretty exciting game, I think. Oh, have I killed everything? Yeah, there's radar on the bottom left, by the way. That will show you if there's any enemies around or any, any any hostages. The map on the bottom right will show you the map of the whole screen, where you have to go, and the arrow will point in your current direction. Anyway, the hostages are down there, so go and pick them up. If you just land like that, they, they will run in and they'll say stuff. Here they come. Yeah, then we head to the landing zone, and then we have to drop them off. Uh, you can shoot the hostages, but don't, because they're worth bonus points and uh, and fuel and armor bonuses. Um, they will say either, go, 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 I need a medic, or or I'm in. I think that's what they say. Yeah, they might say one more thing. Anyway, go to where it says H, and then just uh, land. They're in the wrong place. Let's go forward a bit. There we go. There we go. Is that done? Objectives complete. Good work. The rescue component of this mission is over, and it's time to send the terrorists a message. Destroy their mobile radar and clear the way for the F-18 airstrike. 
Um, if you shoot a, um, if you shoot something that's on your side more than once, I think they go after you. So you have to go off this, you have to go away and come back, um, and then and then and then they forget about it. You know, uh, don't shoot the police cars. Try to shoot the barriers. There are things inside the barriers. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Uh, that's a wingman. Um, that will, um, that will be um, a friendly helicopter who flies around with you and he'll shoot stuff as well. So be sure to get that. In the other police barriers, there's there's spare armor and uh, spare fuel and things like that. So if you need anything, go back to there. Anyway, we're going after um, whatever it is. Remember the strafe. That's it. We're going after the primaries. That's what we want. Make sure you pick up those missiles. Oh, there's a thing of shield. I'll just get that just to show you. That's what the shields look like. Okay. Try to keep strafing and moving back because the tanks will hurt you. They can do loads of damage. There's loads of uh, armour there, which I don't really need. I'd rather have the fuel, to be honest. Oh, they, they hit the tree. They didn't drop anything. You know, the wingman will get other things as well. Don't shoot your wingman. It's, it's good to have got the fuel. Um, it's really e easy to shoot him, unfortunately. Another machine gun already have one of them. Okay, that's those ones dealt with. Let's go and get the other ones. You can see where they are on the map. They're, they're the flashing things in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, they're actually, actually, actually rockets. Um, they're not as good. I like to use the missiles most because they're they're, they're the only things that are uh, that can home in on the enemies. Everything else you have to aim manually. But unfortunately, they do run out a lot. Um, yeah, they are uh, they get more scarce in the later levels. So you have to rely on other weapons, and this thing is really hurting me. Or napalm. See if I can use the machine gun on this thing to save some ammo. There we go. In response to the airstrike, the terrorists have launched a howitzer attack on the surrounding city. Seek out and destroy the howitzers. I don't know what a howitzer is. Uh, could someone tell me what a howitzer? I, I mean, I know it's uh, one of these things, and I'm about to kill, but. If someone could tell me exactly what, what a how it say is, I'd be really grateful. Uh, no idea what it is. Need some armor. I'm going to go back to the landing spot to get some armor from those uh, barricades. Um, I've nearly done this level, I just don't want to die because I'm low on armor. Uh, don't shoot the police cars uh, because they count as friendlies. To shoot the barriers, that's it. That's, that's their rockets, I don't need that. If you shoot some friendlies, he will say, uh, friendly hit, um, whose side are you on, or something, which is quite funny. Should be some armor in one of these. Yeah, there's some. Um, not much, though, it's only a blue one, but I'll nab it anyway. Yeah, that will have to do. There's another one there. The machine gun, I don't need. Right, let's go after the, the howitzers. Um, is that a tank? I'll get that. Oh no, it's a, it's a friendly. Whoops. Yeah, you can't lock into the friendlies, which is nice of them. Yeah, the faster you go, the more fuel you, uh, the more fuel that you use up, I think, which is a nice touch. Right, where are those howitzers? Apparently that's a howitzer. I don't know what they do. Uh, I just um, shoot them. I assume they're a gun of some description, but uh, what uh, differentiates them from other guns, I've no idea. Just got those missiles. I think you can pick up a maximum of uh, 60, I think. I, th I think that's how it is, anyway. Ah, there's some armor. I'll nab that. Good. I killed a tank. Good. That's what I need. Keep strafing and moving back, otherwise the tanks will absolutely hammer you. Trust me on that.
Armor and some missiles, that's good. Good, just managed to get that wasn't off course. And of course it wouldn't be the uh, otherwise the enemies wouldn't be uh, be there, would they? How stupid of me. Um I am my own worst critic. Right. Another critter. Get him. Oh, I missed him. They're, they're pretty nasty. You, you'll find the majority of your damage come um, comes from uh, the tanks, not from the helicopters. So my wingman, yeah, my wingman's died. When he dies, uh, he'll, uh, the man will go wingman down, but I've obviously missed it. Yeah, missiles. I think I if you shoot an item, I think it uh, it can change into something else, which is quite interesting. You can shoot some missiles and turn it into something nicer. Oh yeah, if you whack into something, that will do damage, so don't do that. There we go. Um, shoot the convoy, that's it. Let's go and nab some of this stuff. If you want. Um, it will carry over to the next level, so make sure you do that. I'm really dying here. a lot of health. Oh, another one. Operation complete. And that's the end of the level. I managed to pick up something by accident there. I think you can move, you know, you, you can move while it's while it's doing that, but uh, that's the end of the level. Anyway, not bad. It uh, only took me about uh, 10 minutes to do that. Uh, there's a cutscene as well, which is quite nice. I'll save the game and then and the, uh, then I'll end the video. I think it gives you a, a breakdown of your achievements in the level or something. Yeah, operation summary. Time bonus, 0 times 100. I think if you do it quickly enough, it might give you a bonus, but I didn't. Operation score, time elapsed, 9 minutes, 16 seconds. Operation successful, brilliant. Okay, um, yeah, password, if you want to use it, is 1018, but it won't save the number of uh, weapons that you have. It just gives, it starts you on the... The ba it gives you the basic everything, so you won't have all the weapons that you picked up. So you won't have if you've managed to pick up the really good machine gun. Uh, I only have the blue one, which is the second one, which is bizarrely yeah, which is the red one. You can't ever pick up the weakest one. You can only ever pick up the the blue one, I the one I have, or the really good one, which I haven't found yet. But yeah, if you manage to pick up anything like that, using the password won't actually. Using the password won't um, save any of that. It'll just uh, it'll just start you at the level uh, with the basic with the basic equipment. So you want to save your game if you want to if you want to keep everything. Yep, both memory cards present. I know. Yep, memory card one. Yep, yes. Black O1 new file. Yep, go on then. Confirm save. Press square. That's it, saved okay, okay. Uh what should I call um, backspace. How do I do backspace? Oh, yeah, um, it's already started me there. I'm gonna call myself S um, um S C of course. No, I call myself player one by accident, never mind. I pressed X instead of square, never mind, I am player one. Anyway. <laughs> um can I press back? No, I can't. Okay, the next mission is called uh, Operation Blackout. So, that's the next one. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll be doing Operation Blackout, which is the second level. Thanks again, and goodbye.